Hey guys, it's Drek, and this is a Requiem Angel. It's a Requiem Angel on the box for the intro pack called Swift Justice. Now, this is the Dark Ascension intro pack that the Draculina really wanted to get, so we picked one up for her, and I will open it now. And we will do a quick review of this deck because I was told that you enjoyed my last one. Now, this is the booster pack it came with. It's a Soren Markov booster pack. Hopefully he's inside. He is a very cool card. I will put the knife away. Which was foolish because I need it again now. Alright, so inside, like all these starter decks, there is one foil card and some instructions. The instructions are garbage for the most part. They just tell you what the other things are. And we have the Requiem Angel herself. She is a 5-5 with flying and whenever anything that isn't a spirit you have on the field dies, you get a spirit for it. So this is a pretty neat card, plus it's a foil. And I think it's the cornerstone of this deck. It is a red-white deck. There are two Rack with Madnesses inside. A couple of Rally the Peasants. I'll try and divide these in terms of enchantments and sorceries for white, and then creatures for white and red. A Burning Oil, which is a red sorcery. Nightbird's Clutches, another red sorcery, and another Burning Oil. Skillful Lunge, this is a very cool card. Two Traveler's Amulets, those are a lot of fun. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 Mountains for your mana base. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 12 planes, so an evenly distributed white-red mana base in this deck. A Markov Warlord, actually you get two Markov Warlords. I like those a lot, they're neat vampires, they're not super effective in a standard built deck, but they are cool in intros, and especially if you're playing balanced decks. Another angel, it's a Sarah Angel, very popular, it's been around forever. Night Revelers, more vampires some lightning elementals, two of those, a couple of assault griffins, more flyers, another red vampire, an Edival ripper, a fiend hunter, good for getting rid of anything your opponent has, two niblis of the mists, which are, I believe, tappers when they enter the battlefield, but they don't have flash, midnight guards, which untap easily, a torch fiend, a blood crazed neonate, which is the vampire I don't like in the carnival of blood deck, couple of Ashmath Hounds, a Silver Chase Fox, two Niblis of the Urns, also tappers, but when they attack, a Stromkirk Noble, which is just killer. This is a great rare to go in this pack because the Stromkirk Noble is very popular. He's a one-drop vampire that buffs himself when he does damage. These are two elite vanguards and the Forge Devil. As I said, the Draculina is the one that will be playing with this deck against some of the other decks. We like at my college playing with the intro pack decks because they're balanced and we believe they're more fair to play with. So I will let the Draculina open the pack that she got with her intro and she will show the cards that she gets out of it. Alright, so a Haunted Fingraph. Fetchland, Favor of the Woods, another Torch Fiend, I don't think you'll want to add that. Artful Dodge, which is just a bad card. The Grave Purge, Scorch the Fields, which is another bad card. Bone to Ash, which is pretty cool. Gather the Townsfolk, which is useful for a token deck. Sightless Ghoul, Vengeful Vampire, not a great vampire. Another Nimbless, Burning Oil. And Curse of Mitch Fortunes, which is a worthless and terrible rare. That's a real shame. A human token. And a Hinterland Hermit for the flip. As well as a Swamp for her basic land. So her pack was sadly really bad. But I think she'll be okay because she can't wait to play with this deck. If you'd ever like to watch one of our... I don't know what they're called in Magic the Gathering. I assume they're games, not duels. Then... Let me know in the comment section below and we will try to film one. As always guys, thanks for watching.